We have a lot of common friends, but I first saw her in Instagram. The photo of you with the New York hat, like you were like lying down on the grass. I don't know. You, you, you know the photo, I right? Don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It covered your face. So I like it. <laughs> <laughs> When I figure out that she was like single at that time, so I immediately like uh, asked for her number. So yeah, I guess I'm a lucky guy. Are you? Army Dan. Seattle connecting to Anchorage, we only have like 10 minutes and it was one terminal away. I'm not even kidding, I that's the fastest I've ever run in my life. <laughs> so far it's quite an adventure anyway. So these are most of our travels. This was in Yosemite Valley. Stairway to heaven. This one is the, the time that I proposed to her. This was the picture. The first time that I proposed to her was like six months after we, we were dating. I told myself like if I proposed to someone and then she would say no to me, I would immediately leave. When it actually happened to me, it was different. It was like, okay, she has the right reasons. Yeah, it was, I had the you know, right to say no at that time. Yeah, I was stupid to ask you to. <laughs> wanted like a drastic change of scenery that's why we decided on Alaska. Alaska. She wants to do a wedding under her own way. The last time we traveled this far, I was still indecisive whether if I should propose to you or not. S scared you will say no, it might not be the right time or the right place. But it happened. It happened last March. That was the happiest day of my life. I would never forget that day. Everything was so perfect. The smile, the laugh we shared. But I think this day has a potential of replacing it. 
Let's see. Army Dayan, the day has finally come. We are here exchanging our vows and I do's. I just want to thank you for the love, care, and patience and trust that you always showed me. You have one of the purest heart that I know and I'm thankful and grateful for that. You taught me how to care less of things and enjoy what life can offer. And in return, I won't get tired of loving, caring, and understanding, and every nice thing that ends with ING. I'll do my best to fulfill my duties as your husband and a father to our kids. I hope and pray that God will bless this relationship. This is the best day of my life, and I got to share it with you, Lorenzo. In the past two years that we have been together, I earned a new travel buddy and a best friend that I never asked for. All the crazy travels we did, all the misadventures we had, and all the moments in between. I am grateful for those moments that led us to where we are right now. I believe that God has been preparing us for this moment and for our future together. So as we start this new adventure that we call Married Life, I cannot promise you that dark clouds will never cover our lives or our future will always be bright. I cannot promise you that tomorrow will always be perfect or that life will be easy. But what I could promise is a love without reservation to support you in your goals and to encourage and respect you in your successes and in your failures. As long as we are together, I can promise I'll see you through any crisis or any mishaps. I will pray with you, dream with you, and build a future with you. And I will cheer on you no matter what. I promise my everlasting love and never forsake you or this vows that I, I just mentioned today.